The TVFCU project is the world's first freeform 3D printed facade that capitalizes on our CFAB technology. River Street Architects back in December of 2019 uh, came to us with their initial design, something that was already thought through quite a bit. You know, it was beautiful in, it, in its own sense of, you know, a piece of architecture, but it was potentially lacking some of the qualities of what you see on the design now. They wanted something that was expressive of their brand and their location. Our product itself, you know, our design, we knew that it was something that was gonna bring the building to life, but we weren't sure exactly where where we kind of lied in that process. Were we just going to try to make what they've designed already a, a real thing? or? Were we going to dive even deeper and really influence their design and start from scratch? Um, and that's kind of where it, it led off from, that we actually wiped the slate clean and they were excited by that. They, they really wanted us to, to do that and just bring something fresh to the table. And, you know, once we all got together in the same room and, and they saw our facility and our factory of what is possible and what they can be capable of, I think that really sparked uh, an excitement and a lot of ideas in themselves. TVFCU is offering a new programmatic layout in their new space of how people interact uh, in the banking world, of how they interact with people and how they host different transactions. Branch was able to tell that story through the facade and through the movement of the building. The varying degrees of curvature and the sinuous nature of the facade pattern really nods to the logo of TVFCU as well as the surrounding nature in Chattanooga. Whether you're walking through the, the space within the bank and interacting with their new ITM technology, or you're coming from the outside into that space, you're using Branch's architectural expression to find defined entryways of the facade, whether it's swooping down and kind of pointing you into the entryway or looping back around and kind of picking up over top of the drive-through region. You know where you're at at all times and you're really starting to experience the building for what it is. So using the ability for parametric design and mass customization really allows us to not have to worry about, you know, creating repeated molds or repeated geometries. It becomes robot machine time, really, that we're able to input any varying degree of difference in a facade and, and it doesn't change the production outcome. The design that we came up with and proposed for this project, as well as our technology, has really become a landmark and a branding for this company. They're implementing a, a new technology into their service that they're providing to the, the community. And we're, we're doing that in the same way that we're taking our technology and, and creating a almost like a, an expression and a, a billboard for what they can do for the people here. It is a rain screen system, so it is protecting it from harsh rains and harsh environments. The, the thick foam uh, core of the panels with our matrix really, alongside with the concrete, it becomes a thermal mass in a way. Uh, the efficiency of this installation process all stems back to our digital manufacturing process that we set up from the beginning stages of design through printing, through foaming, through milling, all the way down to the finishing of the GFRC. We locate every nut and bolt on the product with a clear set of directions that are prescribed to our install team on site and it's taken off of its rack and clipped right into place onto the building. Our digital manufacturing process is set up in a way that it is a scalable solution for buildings and design that this project in particular may be a little bit on the small scale, but we can grow that into, you know, 300 panels, 400, 500, 1,000, all the way up to a skyscraper at any given time. The important thing is here that we, we are proposing design freedom, that we can take far-fetched ideas and make them a real thing very quickly. And, and we could scale that and we can take our, our methods and our, our anchoring systems, our attachment methods, and and apply them to a building of any size and shape. We could either be the skin of a project or we can be, you know, the bones of a project, but we can take our principles of design and push them all the way into being its own freestanding and habitable structure. Another project we've created is called One City, and that is a band shell located in Nashville, Tennessee. 
we created the world's largest spanning 3D printed structure that spanned 42 feet and was 21 feet tall. The client had come to us with a very basic form that actually was not able to be engineered without a quarter million dollars worth of steel. So we worked with Thornton Tomasetti to create new models and constantly were sharing feedback loops. We went through a very in-depth and sophisticated engineering process. And what was ultimately built was a force flow diagram of all of that engineering and structure and material coming together. We looked at parametric design methods as well as aerospace technologies in order to create models that could be analyzed through finite element analysis so that we could best understand the material capacities. We were able to totally eliminate all of the steel and create a permanent lasting structure. This is the kind of problem solving at scale that CFAB and our team can enable.